It seems wilder to me because it's so close to 30. This is obviously personally, but also like professionally a big week for you. 27 years for BSB. It's crazy, Doesn't right? Does that seem I mean, insane to you? Like, does that seem wild when you think about it? It seems wilder to me because it's so close to 30. <laughs> like, you know, we've been talking about obviously going back to Vegas at some point. Mm -hmm. Um, and now it's kind of ironic because a couple of us were like, what if we wait till our 30th and kind of at the, at the rate we're going, the timing might work out kind of perfectly because if things keep getting postponed and, you know, touring and stuff gets, gets pushed back until next year for all touring events, all touring acts, then all of next year's a wrap because we have to, you know, fill in all the stuff that we have to postpone. So next thing you know, it's going to be 28 years. And then hopefully after the tour is done, we're going to take a break. Yeah. And then next thing you know, you're going to blink your eyes and it's 30. So it's crazy. It's kind, it's kind of working out for the better. Yeah. Um, this will, and you know, the other upside is now with things kind of being put on hold, we can finally start to talk about finally doing a Christmas album. Yeah. Um, you know, okay. so we're we're just now talking about it. Um, nothing's official yet, but we are, it's becoming more of a serious conversation mm -hmm. because okay. obviously all of us have studios at our homes so we can record our parts separately, mm -hmm. um, you know, until we can all be, be, be as one again. Is this the longest you guys have gone apart? Because it seems... It's um, a little crazy. No, I think the longest we were apart was in between Black and Blue and Never Gone was yeah. about three years. And that window of time is what has made so many people in the press, fans, non-fans go, oh, you know, n this is your reunion. Like, no, we never stopped. Kevin left, but the rest of us kept, we did two albums without Kevin. Right. And a tour with new kids. So... We've never stopped. Yeah. So, but be, but you know, it's that out of sight, out of mind mentality. So, we took a year off. We took about a year to make the record, and then promotion, and then we toured. So, from like, because we finished Black and Blue, like in 2002, and Never Gone came out the end of 04, and we toured in 05. So, you know, I mean, that was the longest stint where we really didn't see each other. Yeah, we. We always talk like for birthday, Howie and I, and I'm not trying to dog my other bandmates, but uh, Howie and I have always, every holiday, we always, we, we have in the last couple of years, but because we have kids now and it's, a, it's, you know, it's a whole different world. But we used to always exchange gifts, him and me, always. I don't know why he stopped buying me stuff. So I said, I'm not going to buy you stuff. <laughs> but um but now, like, we're calling each other to wish our kids for happy birthday. Jeez. Brian has never missed either one of my daughter's birthdays. And him and his wife and Leanne, or him and his wife and Bailey, they do three-part harmony. They do it like clockwork every year, especially for, for uh, Ava, because her birthday is one day before Bailey's. Mm. And, they're, and they're exactly 10 years apart. Um, so... They always do a little a little happy birthday video, like clockwork for the for past sure. seven years. That's yeah. Awesome.